right, Kim has gone to the store to pick up some supplies that she needs. She put me in charge of demolition. So we're gonna figure out how to take this off. I don't know if some of you have any of these in your rigs, uh, but I can see a screw here, a uh, screw there, and there's one on each side. And looks like there's two screws holding this stem up for this light fixture. So we're gonna take those down, kill a breaker so we don't have any electrical shock issues and figure out how this thing comes off. I'm gonna use this bracket here and mount either the GoPro or the Eagle 4K and up here, try to get a view of it from up here and maybe another one, put uh, one on the tripod. So let's get after it. Okay, so here's the setup people. And if any of you ever wondered how high our uh, ceilings were in the uh, fifth wheel here in the kitchen, that is an eight foot step ladder. So we probably got another 10 inches, 12 inches above that. So I'd pretty well say that these are eight and a half to nine foot ceilings in here in the uh, kitchen area and probably back to about eight feet back there. So we've got the Eagle 4K here. I've got the uh, GoPro uh, 4 black there and I'm filming with the 3 plus white. So I'm going to turn them on and let's get this show on the road. All right. Well, here we go. First thing I'm going to do, I've got the breaker off on the lights. So that's good. So I'm going to take out these four screws and hopefully this will drop down far enough that that I can get these out, undo the wires, and drop these. That's what I'm hoping. We'll find out. That's a long screw. I didn't think it would be that long. factory all right so there's those two screws now let's see what happens here just as I thought it's loose so I'm gonna set the drill down and hopefully pull this down and a wire will come with it and we'll have connectors on it that I can undo. And I don't want to lose that up in the ceiling because it probably won't be any fun trying to get it out. And there it comes. So, in this one here, the black is connected to the purple white, and the white's connected to the white. So, we'll undo these. And there's the light fixture. See? Two screws. One light fixture, so if you just wanted to change out your light fixtures, if you could find something to go in with two of these on the 12 volt side, that'd be great. Alright, let's get the other one off. Alright, one got me a pair of cutters. I'm going to cut that off. And then hope for the best.
There's that. Yep, there's some dust. Got a little bit of grease and everything. So there's the back of the frame. You can see where the clips are at. That's the front. And you see where I cut the wires off. So I'll just fix that. It's no big deal. I just wire. So all right, we got that off. Better not put that on Kim's couch. She'll shoot me. Okay. Now let's see what's happening up here. Looks like there's two screws. One here and one here. And hopefully that'll let all this come down. So let's see. See what I'm going to do to be on the safe side is move these out of the way. Keep my workspace clear. So if it falls, it won't hurt anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it over here and see what happens. Yeah, that's what she's going to do too. So that's good. Kim will be able to paint that whatever color she wants. I am going to move the ladder out because I can't not get to this one. So, in fact, what I may do, let's see the best, safest way. is to move this right in the middle. Alright, I think we're safe now. Do this one first. So I'm going to take this other one down. Oops, I hit my button. Where did I? Put these wires back up through because I can now see it and I'll show you here in a minute. I'm not worried about losing them now. Oh yeah. And you know what that white stuff is? I know that's insulation from in the ceiling. Take these screws out here so we don't lose them or nobody gets poked or whatever. All right, let's uh, let's do a little recap here, in case one of the other cameras didn't come out right. We'll uh, we'll try to do it this way. So here's what we have. This right here is the face that Kim's going to repaint. That this metal piece on this one hangs on. This is the back side. And Kim will re be redoing all this over here and changing the color on that. So if she goes white or whatever and white on here. So it's going to be a definite change. We're just trying to make the house our own. There is the opening 
that they pulled the wires through the roof. You can see the white beadboard insulation in the roof. And you can see that the frame that they made. So it's not too complicated. It helps if you have another person, but you can do it by yourself. But anyway, hey, phase one, living in an RV full time. Sometimes you change things up. Just got to stop the madness. Start the adventure. Come on back next time. No telling what we'll be doing.